A typical place to measure water pressure is at a hose bib. Be sure to find a hose bib before the house pressure regulator. You will need a pressure gauge and a hose adapter. It is a good idea to open up the hose bib and let some water flow to eliminate any debris from getting into your pressure gauge. A short length of hose between the pressure gauge and hose bib may make it easier to read the pressure gauge. Attach the pressure gauge to the hose bib, open up the valve, and read the water pressure. Another location to read water pressure is at a backflow prevention device. Backflow prevention devices are usually located near the water meter. You will need a pressure gauge, screwdriver, and possibly a flexible hose extension. Locate an accessible pet cock on the backflow prevention device. Open up the valve to clear any debris. Connect the pressure gauge to the pet cock. Open the valve with the screwdriver and read the water pressure. When a pet cock will not accept a direct connection of the pressure gauge, use the flexible hose to make the connection. Open the valve with the screwdriver and read the water pressure. Another way to read the maximum available water pressure is to locate a nearby fire hydrant. You will need a 3 inch adapter, a large wrench or meter wrench, and a pressure gauge. First, unscrew the cap, then attach the adapter and pressure gauge. Open up the valve and note the water pressure. Each type of sprinkler head is designed to operate within a specific range of water pressure. To verify the water pressure at a spray head, you will need a pressure gauge and a T adapter. Remove the nozzle. Install the T adapter. And reinstall the nozzle on the T. Open the irrigation valve and read the water pressure. To verify the water pressure at a rotor head, you will need a pressure gauge and a pitot tube. Install the pressure gauge onto the pitot tube. Open the irrigation valve and insert the tip of the pitot tube directly into the water stream. Watch the water pressure and note the highest pressure. This procedure is likely to get you wet. A pressure gauge with maximum pressure indicator is a valuable diagnostic tool. To identify if you have a high pressure spike problem, attach the gauge to a hose bib, backflow prevention device, or a hydrant, and leave it connected with the valve open for a minimum of 24 hours. You can read what the maximum pressure was during the test period by noting the position of the red indicator needle.